Hi everyone and welcome to Bee TV. I'm here at the farm where my beehives are located and we have a, here a clover field. It's uh, Alsike clover and red clover. It's been now uh, really warm and nice weather uh, but the few the first few weeks in this month in July were really cold and rainy so it has had an effect on the on the honey production and probably there will not be that much honey taking out of the hives this year but we'll see at the moment the bees are still even though it's the evening uh, they're collecting honey but we still have time a few weeks three weeks for uh, the harvesting time and hopefully the bees are now uh, managing to collect a lot, lot of honey more and we're gonna see it later than what has happened. So we can take a quick look if the bees are still flying it's almost sunset time and yeah they are flying collecting honey but since I'm not going to open the hives now I'm gonna let the bees work in peace now. I can talk a little bit about uh, starting beekeeping. So if there's any one of you who are now uh, interested of uh, taking an own hive, uh, I'm gonna tell you what you should do. So if you want to start beekeeping, my number one uh, advice is take a course because um, beekeeping is quite complicated even though the bees are uh, rational animals and there's rules and um, and uh, patterns how they work it's still really uh, difficult to read them without any practical experience uh, I noticed that uh, after my that during my first course as I hadn't even seen a beehive or take a look inside of a beehive before uh, it was it was like half of the stuff just like went you know somewhere and um, after my first summer uh, as a beekeeper I took another course and um, during that course uh, there was many things that clicked so yeah take a course they are held by uh, professionals. Uh, here in Finland I took a course in uh, Työväenopisto. It was really cheap, like 30 euros, 35, and then uh, you have to buy a book uh, on top of that. But all in all, really affordable. And there's a great teacher and you will get into the beekeepers community, you will make friends. Uh, you will make uh, contacts with uh, other beekeepers, beginners and professional ones and you will get a uh, lot of uh, contacts where to buy bees and uh, equipment and stuff like that. So it's, it's not really mainstream, <laughs> mainstream thing, so even though it's really popular, uh, but you need contacts and, and of course it's a great place to start. So. Uh, the courses they start uh, normally uh, in winter so probably now there is time to uh, google online and check check uh, if there's any courses nearby where you live before taking the hives uh, it will be good for you to uh, think where you're gonna place the hive because uh, maybe you have a summer house or a bigger property in the city where you have a yard where you can put your hive or maybe you have a if your summer house is somewhere uh, far away because you have to visit the hive maybe once a week or uh, the rule is once in every nine days so if your summer house is really far uh, it might not be possible but maybe your friend has a cottage or or a Summer, summer house 
closer and you can put them on their property but you always need a uh, permission from the landowner there are hives also in the cities on the roofs of the of buildings and and parks and every everywhere but i've uh, i've heard uh, people trying to get permission from the from the city uh, officials and it's complicated so uh, you maybe shouldn't count on that if you don't have a other place to put your hive so if you have a place for your hive you take a course and you have a little bit of extra time to take care of your bees it's a super fun and interesting hobby you will learn a lot about uh, nature and the rhythm of it and and you will you will really check how the weather is and and which flowers are blooming and when and it will connect you with nature more and i have really liked it sometimes it really <laughs> is like okay a lot of work but um all in all you will learn a lot and and once you get more experienced uh, it will not be that uh, time consuming anymore so i highly recommend uh, if you're interested in to google some courses and uh, maybe start beekeeping uh, see you next time maybe we can already uh, check how the honey is coming up so uh, have a nice holidays bye